the news on the exact television TTV News Channel. Thank you for featuring on my show. My name is Mr. Desmond Ocha Imbolo, your host. I didn't follow the crowd. Watch the exact TV online anywhere in the world. Follow us on our Facebook page at the exact television program, the Elo Nigeria Show, Teenage and Future for Africa. Brief the press. A brand owned by the SRT Group, SRT Productions Central Limited EPNL Media and Entertainment Company. To feature on this show and have a placement call 0912 8161 708. Thank you for watching the SRT TV program. Until I come your way next time again. My name is Mr. Desmond Chen Imbolo, your host. Keep watching.
cancel off chips as tradition demands. Uh, we are did all the new to do as tradition demands. Uh, headed by our chief uh, Peter Luca, we are the uh, the highness of the highness of our uh, Congo uh, community in the Lima local government area. <laughs> allow that to happen, O oh God, to your son. That we thank you for this great day. The day, O oh God, that he has begun a journey to be with you. Father, we say, O oh God, even as he's going on this journey, may you, O oh God, direct his journey 
to where he's supposed to be according to his work in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Father Lord, I pray to this family. Oh God, a vacuum has been created. Father, may you be the one that will fill the vacuum in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Oh God, I pray because an advisor has gone. May you be the advisor to the family in the name of Jesus Amen. Christ. Our Father, our God, even as the father of the house is going, may you be the almighty father that will father the entire family in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Father, Lord, I pray, oh God, may you, oh God, do that which only you can do today and grant him this journey successfully to where he's going in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Papa. Ah, Juba Moano, when Mimi Maya Juba Jumano, if it ran in the way where I saw you move with a woman under on Nemi Broca, a Taja by a woman, my poor, a woman for Mimina, Mimi Maba Jumano, a Caracola, a Rosa Bay Jesus. I'm going to be Nanim Baba, what on Gacola, a Rosa Bay Jesus. Funeral service was actually conducted by the Christ Faith Church, Okali, Element HGA. Where they actually uh, give him his last respect as they could in their own right. <laughs> your name this afternoon he that knows the end from the beginning there is nothing that takes you out of way it was written in your agenda that today we all will gather here to bid our father farewell you give us two days to live here on earth the day we were born and the day we will die and our father has successfully lived these two days. And therefore, we pray that whatever we are going to do here should be to your glory alone. I silence every voice that is not of God. I silence every power within this environment that will not allow your name to be glorified. I pray that you take charge of this place. And let your name alone be glorified. Even as I declare this for our same that we've got a father and all the son and all the holy ghost. Put your hands together as you pray as Before I call on Sister Mercy Bokime for hymns, please permit me to recognize the mother. The church mother is here in person of Deaconess Flores Oyo. Praise the Lord. And we also have our mommy here, Reverend Mrs. Good, Good News Nathan, in presence. Mommy, you are welcome. Please join me as I welcome Sister Mercy Bokime for her congregational hymns.
times where uh, people actually give heartwarming testimonies about uh, late Chief Ezekiel Wuwu uh, uh, Wanji. Uh, some describe him as a man of faith, a uh, man of God that was fervent is all his uh, activity to God. And he actually uh, single heartedly using the name of God to remove a shrine. I think all of those out there are going to be uh, given to you uh, in course of our next uh, broadcast. Wow, people, you are all here. <laughs> My name is Mr. Desmond Chen Impolo, and this is Rick Fat Newspapers, the mouthpiece of the people, the press, a must having all homes and offices in Nigeria, covers community issues, governance, campuses, and social stories, a brand owned by the Exactitude Group, published weekly by Exactitude Productions, Nigeria Limited, EPL Media News and Entertainment Company, adding values to lives and nothing less to inform, educate, inspire, and entertain. For your offer placement and coverage of your events, call 0912-8161-708, Facebook at Exact to Press House, Real Fat Newspapers, a month having all homes and offices in Nigeria. Thank you. We are here today to testify over our father. Huh? Okay. Pastor, come for me, Kilema. Let the honor, Nini Nibela be Yimon and I, the Baron, or Paddy Bride. Nature is a care who wants you. I can be coming, the like Christ will visit you last a Christ will. But don't be on your name. Rebaron, <laughs> Say church led by club on the Jewel Christ Faith or Club on the Bone, it's like Christ Faith. I know. All around the Begeta, five o'clock, then by the church, early morning service. Mosea Gramma, fasting. We can live there. Now we drink at it. Natito, Club on the Pony, don't see all. You drink a lama. Go on the level of the door. You can get Nasa, Baso Kanja, Baso Lea, Baso Bodoni, we can Jiru, we can now. And you are now in Bose Church. Much like native, they say, Who was you? They were with me, or pay a bizarro, and when we go on more. For all of that, but I'm not accused. I am called Pierre Manonio. Mom, Pierre, I am by any man with a top and another Rusibio. Think Pierre, any thing join Bodeca, we bought on, in join, we went to Rusi, a cabin, a big guy or monio, or Padito, or monio, a cabin. And you are now like a gym that may be a pleasure to get on on you. Okay, the macro money. But to work with Papa by a consigner by way of Bureau. Then when I saw Nasato, why I didn't kill you? We go, Bunny. Mom of a crab, let me go. A crazy church in one in Nasawa. And I yak a wood eye. Make a crab, let go by a little puma. The Banasa, and yet church like a sia. A Sabbath or Mel or Banasapa puma. A crab more lossy. But then only I have to wait a new one. In that case, we can never. Papa Bonjour, let's charge that one. Papa Bonjour, let's join your prayer. Papa Bonjour, we will go to church. And I'm in no affair. In peace, we are at a enjoy our life. Papa, charge with my heart. No, 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 Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. I am standing on behalf of the family of uh, 
went your forum. This elderly man, our father that is we are celebrating today, is the man that led us to salvation with God. In those days, his mother is one of the women that uh, carry all these spiritual powers. Was the mother was one of the women that this spirits normally used to this land. And everyone know this family because of that very spirit that the mother is in charge. And this all of our poor come and come to know in our tender age. So as we are in life, just towards early 71, their mother died after this war. And the cause of their the mother's death was that very juju. And that juju is called a yoba. It destroyed this one because of one thing. Because of one thing. Why she violated the order? That she that the juju said that she told her not to eat anything draw, anything of soup or anything to draw soup. And she paid and went and ate it because of the power. Did they consult in, in the spirit guiding her? For that cause, send a, a high stomach to her. Under that pressure of that swelling of the stomach, our mother died. We pray that every, time, every one of us who know about the civil war and the situation at that time, 1971, can testify. We pray that so after about that very 81, towards 1971, the call of God fall upon them. And the call is over the southern, the end of the southern, and take a decision. And they decide to serve God. We had started the salvation program was the true church of God. They started that journey there. Later, the fall back, go with them. They want to go on to assembly. They went to, they divided the two back men in assembly, and he went to keep a life. That's how he carried us along. Through him, my own junior brother was the first person. He was my younger brother. Very small, then I stayed with him. Through him, the young man followed the teacher from there, got the salvation. Today, that my younger brother is the pastor of the family. Today, the elder brother's son is the pastor of the family. That what he has done, his life and his young brother's life challenged so many people in this village. All his age men, they come to God because of when they see the challenge and what God did in their life, that the juju could not have poured his power on them because of this type of thing against that spirit. So what am I saying today? I thank God so much that God has made it possible for us to celebrate him in this way. And we thank God for the family that we have prepared. He is a man that every person knows in this community and element at large. He's a peaceful man. He's a man that does not want trouble. He will, have, he will tell you what is good and what is good for you. If you obey and do it, you will remember the goodness of God. So I thank God so much. On behalf of my family, I thank all of you that are here today to join us to celebrate this day. God bless you all in Jesus' name. And we clap our hands about our Father. My name is His Highness Peter of Rio Olukami, the paramount ruler of the Congo community, Alessa Dame. Today, that I'm privileged to speak on behalf of my community as a testimony to the life of our late chief of Kanya, Ezekiel Bowani. It's one person in my community as well as Alessa, who while in his youthful age, did everything every young person used to do towards the development and progress of a community. He was once the head of his age group, named Bobo Ewumwandi. But when he got acquainted 
with the word of God. He just seen that and went to worship God with all his heart. And that gave him the courage to call upon his elder brother who was not yet in tune with what he was doing concerning the existence of an oracle in their compound. I was, I was once a boy of that compound when I lived with the elder brother, late Daniel Mwaji, that's a bicycle repairer apprentice. And so I spent three good years living with them, even when he was a young man. I, I know the lifestyle of the young man. He was a good listener, and he likes to contribute to whatever message that makes sense to the group he belongs. Chief Mwaji was a courageous person to be able to use the name of Jesus Christ to remove a shrine, a juju shrine, not just an ordinary shrine. And um, made that compound free of idol worship. While working with us in the Council of Chiefs of El Congo, he was an elderly person. He was an elderly chief. He is always tuned to adhere to the positive part of things. He does not cite, he didn't cite the negative part of things. Once he reviews the matter before us and he sees that, what we are saying has value that will add to the behavior, well behavior of our people, it will support us. And that's why we are all happy to be here today. It is obvious that man cannot live forever. Otherwise, if by way of judgment of his attributes and behavior to mankind, he never stepped on anybody's toes. He had the fear of God. And today, he has retired home. As a chief, he will never die. He can only go home to his ancestors and where God has prepared for him. And that's our hope. It is important that Christ should make meaning to all of us. Because it will help to frame our mind to accept what is correct. We must not say because it is money, because it is my brother, and begin to side what is wrong. Mwaji did not do that. And I plead with his immediate family, even though I am close to them, to imitate, to emulate the lifestyle of their father. It will help to make them enjoy life on this earth. God bless all of us in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Biography was actually taken quite a uh, little girl. I think she did the net photo or she could uh, on her part. The biography explains who late Chief Elder Ezekiel Mwaji was. Biography of late Chief Elder Ezekiel Mwaji. Late Chief Elder Ezekiel My name is Success Wanji. I'm here to read the biography of late Chief Elder Ezekiel Oh For everything there is a reason, a time for every activity under heaven. 
a time to be born, a time to die, a time to plant, a time to harvest, a time to kill, a time to heal, a time to tear down, a time to build up, a time to cry, a time to laugh, a time to grieve, a time to dance. Ephesians 3, 1, verse 2, 4. Birth and early life. Let chief elder Ezekiel Uwaju of Oru was born into the family of late Wanji of Oru and late Miss Osile Jordan of Oru of a Congo community in Alessa, Eleme in the year 1942. His parents had four children four boys, of which he was the second son. He was a vibrant young man, full of life and humanity, education and social life. His parents died at an early age of leaving him, leaving him to faith in his late brothers and to faith for themselves and struggle to survive. He learned to be a mason clear because as at that time people believed skills to be the paramount important thing sustaining the capability to run a successful home. He was a diligent he was so diligent in his work that he was one of the best bricklayers in town as at that time. He spent most of his time working in companies like Adron Andrew Walker, that that built Nafcon and pro, and Procol that built refinery in the late 60s and 80s. Social life. He was he was a jolly good follower. He was a jolly good follower, which endured him to, uh, to the age group to the age group known as. Of which he was the leader, president, a group he led successfully for the community, both in entertainment and philosophic activities. In 1973, he gave his life to Christ and required his post, his position to serve God serve the creator wholeheartedly. Marita life. Let's chief elder Ezekiel Uwaji got married to his half brother Miss Rose Wagi, Miss Rose Nena Homba, daughter of Homba Olaka in Woke community, also of Alisa Eleme. A tall, black, educated, legend, beautiful, beauty to compensate his short full in education in woman that will help him meet his obligations in life in April 10, 1968. The marriage was blessed with two kids, a boy and a girl, but he lost the boy to the poor hands of death in 1996. Papa remarried again and had and God blessed him with two, two children a boy and a girl. Christian life. Papa, Christian life. Papa has profoundly called him God's baptized in through church of God and He served God frequently. In, he served God frequently. In variant to know God better, he joined the Deeper Life Church. He de joined the Deeper Life Bible Church, which he, his house was used as one of the fellowship centers where other branches joined, the, joined to worship the true God. As time, pro pro as time progressed, he, he decided to finally pick his tent with the Christ Faith Church orderly. Death. Death Chief Elder Wu Wanji was a peace loving man in Alessa community in, as a whole. He never, en he never engaged himself 
in any trouble activities which he was which his children emulate from him he he loved God to death Papa died after an, after a protected illness but went to stay with the Lord on 27th November 2022 he is he is he is setting by his he is survived by his wife children son and daughters in in-laws and grandchildren to numerous and to numerous to mention Appreciation uh, um, on behalf of the family was taken by Pastor Engineer Peter Oforu and uh, it was actually <coughs> expressed in a spectacular way that the atmosphere was actually turned into something else as he sang his uncle's favorite song. The rendition actually brought God's presence. It was like a crusade grand. I think you'll take a listen to what he did. Christ paid praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Assemblies of God Church, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. There is one song that my father normally sings, and he says there is an element of language. On the air, my chichi bayo. On the air, my chichi bayo. On the air, my chichi bayo. Wa era mura mi dala Aka fia muru ba me oi so li mo barita Aka fia muru ba me oi so li mo barita mato O ye 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 O ta ye da mato O ta ye ta ye ta ye ye ta ye ye O akara pia mo ba me o so le mo ba re da ma to wa bo bo si pawa do zo da o ya mo ku ya ma sanda la wo ko si da 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 ma ku ya mo ku ya ma sanda le ko si da ya e ya mo ku ya ma sanda ka le ke le ma su ka ita la ma ku si kete le da la ma ku sa ya akara pia mo ba me o so le mo ba re da ma to Akrafi amuru ba me eso le mo bari da mato so le 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 no bari da mato If you are happy and you are here, can I hear your loudest? Amen. To make sure everything is caught. He has made our family today to raise up to two pastors. Not just pastors that we are going for for, 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 for church, but pastors that are called by God. And you can testify that. Amen. On behalf of the family, I want to say thank you. We the family of Lechi, Okaya, who Ezekiel, who Waji, Zibler's friend, our profound gratitude to God Almighty. Our sympathizers, friends, and relations who, by their presence, moral and financial support, stood by us in this time of grief. Our special thanks go to the Christ Faith Church, Ogale Eleme, for their support and encouragement. Once again, Christ Faith, God bless you. May the God, Almighty God, in His infinite mercies, grant all of you His abundant blessings and journey, mercies to your various destinations. For all of you who have come to contribute. To the success of today because God has decided to identify with us. We call, I call on God, and I believe all of you call on God that if today His servant is going to be laid to rest, let the sun shine. And today we can see sun shine. It's not by any power, like what Paris said. The power that we have is in Christ Jesus. And Christ Jesus, we are standing on the righteousness of God in Christ. And the blood of the Lamb is over everywhere here. No other power could ever do anything because our laser is for God. Amen. Remain blessed. The message of uh, the psalm was actually taken by Reverend Samson Effian, uh, which is uh, entitled How Prepared Are You? And he took the text from the book of Second Timothy, chapter 4, uh, from verses to 8 and um, Job 14, 1 to 2. To share the word of God. 
I want to appreciate all the ministers here present. I want to appreciate the chiefs in their cabinet. I want to appreciate every member from every other denomination that is here to witness this great occasion. And every other one that is here, I say because you are here, you are recognized and you will be blessed in the name of Jesus Christ. Without wasting time, I would like us to open our Bibles to the book of 2 Timothy. Chapter number 4. We are going to look at verse 6 to 8. Then Job 14 verse 1 and 2. Second Timothy chapter number 4 from verses number 6, 7 and 8. For I am already poured out like a drink offering. And the time of my departure has come. For I have fought the good fight. I have finished the race and I have kept the faith. Verse number 8. Now the race is tall for me, the ground of righteousness, which the Lord, the righteous judge, will award me on that day. And not only me, but also to all who have longed for this or his appearing. This is the word of the Lord. Job 14, 1 and 2. a few days and full of trouble to the last he coming foot like a flower and is cut down he fled also as a shadow and continued not may the lord bless their reading in the name of jesus christ i want to title my short message this afternoon thus there is a compulsory subject. How prepared are you? I want you to look at your neighbor and say to your neighbor, there is a compulsory subject. How prepared are you? I didn't hear you very well. So many of us here know that when we are in secondary school they will ask us to, to offer so many subjects amongst those subjects are two subjects that are compulsory that you must answer and those subjects are English and mathematics if you fail in these two subjects it means that you failed. So I'm here to tell us this afternoon that death is a composite subject that you must prepare for. No matter how old you are, you will die. Adam lived. 930 years and he died. Seth lived 912 years and he died. Elos lived 905 years and he died. Canaan lived 910 years and he died. Methuselah lived 969 years and he died. Lamog lived 777 years and he died. Noah lived 950 years and he died. And you can count it on and on. It means that you that are hearing the sound of this microphone, like it or not, one day you shall die. One day I shall die. One thing about death is that death 
is no respecter of any qualification no respecter of any achievement no matter your academic qualification when they come knocking at the door there's no excuse that you can give God has helped you to have two hands and two bosoms to glorify the name of the most high God. Can you tell your neighbor you are welcome? Please, yes, I want to hear your voice telling another person, God bless you. God bless you. Hallelujah. Amen. Brethren, at this point, we want to give our offering not to any man. We want to appreciate God who has made this day a reality. Praise the Lord. So many people. Sometimes they pray, they had plans to witness a day like this being the 29th or the 31st day in the month of March 2023. But they are unable to see today. Please, let me see somebody who loves Jesus and while you are waving your hand to Jesus, not to any man. If you happen to be alive today, just wave your hands to Jesus. And this is the first offering we are to give unto him. Just wave your hands to Jesus. Somebody shout hallelujah. hallelujah. We thank God for this family. We thank God for the chiefs. We thank God for the men, the women, the youth who had found time to be here today to be our father in befitting area. May God bless all of us in the name of Jesus Christ. Please, we want to offer unto God know that everything we are going to do here is for the bereaved family. Somebody shout hallelujah. hallelujah. We want to give unto God in a very special way. If God has blessed you to have a thousand, never five thousand, two hundred, five hundred, as we want to raise this particular chorus, we will dance together. Please, the instrumentalist, help us and back us up. Please. <laughs>
again we give you thanks we worship your name for this wonderful day we thank you for the day our father came we thank you for the day 
that you took him home. And we thank you for this day that we have committed his blood to the mother earth. That the Lord, I pray that as you have kept our father in the place of rest, that anyone that will come in any form to call his name for evil, oh God, by the power that you exercise from your throne, may you strike them down in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. That he has a child of God, we buried him in the godly way. So whosoever will come in any means that is not of God to invoke the spirit out. Father, we pray, may you, oh God, arise against them in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. So, our Father, let Brother Chief Ezekiel Mwaji, we have committed you to the Mother Eight, and we ask you to go and be with the Lord. Not to be troubled. So anyone that will come to trouble you for bad, call your name for evil. May you never answer them. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. I pray that from today, may your journey to paradise start. Amen. And according to what you did on earth, may God give you rest. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Amen. Start to cover. Well, I am a Pastor Engineer Peter Oforu. I'm the General Overseer of Graham Ministry Grace Revival Evangelical Ministry. I'm not equally an Associate Pastor in Assemblies of God, Lekki Lagos. I'm a, I also work with Nigerian Gas Infrastructure Company as an engineer with Asset Management West, Lagos. Why are you telling here today? Yes, okay. So today, actually, is my uncle's burial. He is the second from my father. My father was the first born of the family. He is the second, so the very last member of the Forumanji family in the dynasty. So today, we lay to rest Chief Ezekiel Wu Wanji of Foru. He's, yes, he's a very humble man, a man of peace, a man of love. He's very humble and uh, he doesn't like anything trouble. I remember some years ago when he told me that I should be very careful wherever I'm going because we don't have anybody at the top echelons of power that I should be more careful and avoid trouble. And that has always been my guiding light all the years. And he so much believed that believing in God and trusting God is the best. And so that is what we have been doing and I've been doing with my younger ones. And we've been searching God, thanking God for everything. We want to bless God for everything. We bless God for everything. And so God has always been on, the, on our side, trying to make sure all things are working well. What legacy do you think he has left behind and you want to emulate that back home? The legacy which he has left behind for me and my family, my brothers and my siblings, is that uh, we should learn to lean on God and depend on God. The fear of God is the beginning of wisdom. Yes, he may not leave behind any riches for us, but at least he left for us God. Serving God is the best, and I think with God, all things are possible. I, I'm, so, I'm, I'm so impressed, especially the Mammon crowd I experienced today, and I, I'm so happy they have honored us. I thank God for the weather. Everything went well. I want to say a big thank you to all of them and all the media, the churches, especially the um, the Christ Faith Church. It's amazing. It's amazing today. It's so amazing. And I don't know what to say, but all I say is that God is good. I thank God for honoring us. To God be the glory in Jesus' name. Thank you. Amen. Amen. This is the Television TV News Channel on the Alone Nigeria Show, Trinity and Future for Africa. I'm your life in LMA local government, precisely in Alessa community. Uh, please come on, just know your name and uh, brief profile. Okay, I am Mrs. Priscilla Oporo, the chief mourner's wife, and the one that died is our father in law, and we're here to grace the occasion. He has been a peaceable man, a loving man, the man that loved God and feared God and eschew evil. That's why we are here. We came all the way just to honor him, to show you the type of person he is. So, uh, how would you want to describe the? How do you want to describe him? I've earlier said that he's a peaceable man, 
and a God-fearing man. A man that loves peace even when there's problem, he always looks for a way to put peace in the family. Uh, he's, he's peaceful and he's calm and he's good and I pray that we'll all follow suit because if you watch the barrier uh, it's surprising to people they feel that the family are just few but you can see that a lot of people came to honor it to show who the type of person is thank you oh I am so glad I am so honored I'm so happy and I love you all and I say God bless you all and celebration will never cease in your home. Thank you. I hope. Oh, I am Mrs. Priscilla of uh, the wife of the chief mourner. Yeah, thank you. I thought there was a dancing time uh, where uh, Mrs. Priscilla actually uh, stepped out and uh, gave a dancing step. I mean, she is a good dancer. She did all she could to actually express thanks to God to have kept uh, our father-in-law I mean to the age of I mean beyond 70 years <laughs>
case me some job and I hear that a child is uh, more than money. Uh, that is actually sung in the man uh, language that a child is more than money. That any woman that has given birth, um, you've given a lot of gifts to society. That song, or me, it means more than money. I think uh, the song expressed uh, itself properly. It was a celebration time where you could see people honoring uh, Ed, uh, Ezekiel for having lived, lived, lived his life, I mean, a fulfilled life as he could. Once again, call 0912-816-1708. My name is Mr. Desmond Chenbolo, your host, and you'll be watching the Hello Nigeria Show, Teenager the Future for Africa, the current affairs program on the Exact Television TV new channel. See you next week. Thank you. Do you want to know this attitude? You ready?